Hey guys, welcome to Aaron's Automotive. Today I'm going to just do a quick little walk around of my short little Class C motorhome. It's 1978 GMC Vandura 35, it's a one ton. The Diplomat camper model. Starting up front here. Can't really see in there. But it has a Chevy 400 small block with the Rochester four bale carburetor. It's got the turbo 400 transmission. Tires are in fairly decent shape. Pick this thing up for 1200 bucks. And this tire is uh, shot, kind of got a little bit of a slash on the sidewall, so that one no longer holds air. So, do a quick walk around to the back. Got a tail light that's right now it's duct taped back on. It's in fairly decent shape on this side we have the water heater inlet for the water hook up for for city water for our line down under here is the 45 pound Onboard propane tank. It does have dual exhaust. It goes all the way up to the front. You can see dual mufflers. We'll zoom in. So it is true dual. Also has dual fuel tanks. Grab my keys and I'll open this up. This is where the uh, total generator that I'm going to be building is housed. Got the key. And here I'm building a 12 volt generator out of a Tecumseh four and a four and a half or four and three quarter horsepower. Motor came off of an old rototiller. A little bit of spare fuel, a jack. Put this up. So the build for that video will be coming mm, probably a week or two when I get around to it. The uh, electrical line, 30 amp, 15 amp adapter to plug into the house. In here is the deep cycle battery, 127 amp hour. This is where the furnace used to sit. I've got to get a panel, or take this panel, I got a silicone it, so I've got it uh, electrical taped right now. So, Open it up and take a look around inside. So right when you walk in, there's a storage here, a battery charger, some chain, all the tools from when I'm on the road, spare belts, axe, wiper blades, battery charger, slash a jumper. Uh, just off is the bathroom here. Nice little tub for a family of four. Small little sink, the toilet, door. The lights do work. Uh -oh. So this vent got a little hail damage, so there's a garbage bag on it right now. I've got a new one I need to put in. The fridge, well, it's non-existent. 
didn't work so I pulled it out and getting it replaced got a new one on order from a buddy uh, found me one for fairly cheap from his shop and we're gonna install it into this thing together here's the uh, in here is all the electrical uh, power converter is there the uh, breaker panel I'm going to have that line switched off because that's for the AC, which it doesn't have yet. So down in here is where the furnace did sit. And I'm actually going to be throwing a 3000 watt power inverter into it. Because I've got electric heat and I've got a small little, uh, uh, I think they're called, basically it's a Mr. Buddy portable heater. So, what is it? 30,000 BTU heater, radiation or convection heater. So, um, this is the kitchen area. Four burner stove, they all work. Turn on the light. Range and fan work, the oven works. All I gotta do is move that Swiffer. I do need to get a new handle for the oven it's broken actually I think that's what this thing is yeah it is and I'll install that a little later then so lots of storage space in here it's a more storage storage under the sink here there was a couple of water leaks when I bought the thing that I had to take care of this line being one of them and there's still it's still leaking a little I guess the uh, fitting on this line right here has a small crack in it so I got to get a whole new line made up not the end of the world Pull out cupboard storage or food storage. Oh. All the storage for cutlery and food, cooking utensils. A lot of storage in here. Now it's got a couple of Swivel chairs in here. This table does fold down. And this couch folds out to a bed. There. There's a bed up here. More storage. Got an air mattress. There's that line that I flipped off at the breaker for the AC, which is actually going to get mounted up in here. The wire's capped off up in behind this. It is a live wire. I've tested it. And I've got a buddy, same guy who's getting me the fridge, found me an AC unit, upper half for free. And I just got to buy the lower half control panel because it was smashed out. A couple of stereo speakers there, a couple down here, all the blinds work, open up this window, uh, this one needs a new screen, uh, this window, open it up, the screen is in this one, as for up front, Privacy curtain for I'll block out some light when travel or traveling or nighttime when sleeping. And then uh, the captain's seats. These do not spin around. 
but not too terribly much up here. A couple of seats, little uh, vents on the floor to let some fresh air in, storage. Yeah, it's got the title and registration in there. Do have a CB radio installed, the magnetic antenna mounted on the hood. Oh, I have a seat. Ah. Grab the keys. Well, this thing has 49,874 and a half kilometers, all original. Windows. Decent, uh, decent mirrors for when traveling. So, and it looks like my camera is about to die, so I'll come back in a minute when I got uh, a set of new batteries in her. All right, I just threw my phone on the cable charger. So, it's got a decent Pioneer Premier stereo kit. Turn it on. Don't wanna. Yeah, let's find some. But uh, while I'm doing that, it does have heater control vents there that come out through the dash vent or the floor vents. It does have factory air conditioning. The uh, little box is under the dash there. Turns the fan on for the dash vents. And let's go source. We will we'll give it a cold start. Let's see, everything is zero. Pump the throttle. There we go. Fired right up. Runs beautifully. Go out and we'll uh, take a look at that. Just as I say that, it dies. So yeah, didn't set the choke. I do have a bit of an issue with this switch here. The uh, dual fuel tank switch has a short in there, causing the one tank to not pick up fuel every now and then. There we go. So I do have to fix a short in the toggle switch here. Uh, the whole thing is you know, loose and wiggles around a bit. So 
If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and stay tuned for more videos.